Le petit vin à ma jambe. Well, let's get down to business, shall we? We're going to expand and build new plants in China and Russia. The market situation necessitates this. More effectiveness, less costs. That means we're talking about an order volume of around 5 million euros. The order could be awarded to your company. So much faith is deeply appreciated. So what are the conditions? Our company demands the highest precision and reliability. You already have the first test samples. None of the parts are to be outside the tolerance and the measurement results must be reproducible. Is your quality control good enough for this? No question. We have all the capacity required and we use the most modern 3D measurement machines. And our system technicians are excellent and well trained. This piece is totally outside the tolerance. Man, when the chief sees this. Are your measurement technicians qualified for this uh, demanding work? <coughs> our measurement technicians? Yes, they are very experienced and are, of course, up on the latest know-how. We employ long-standing qualified technicians. They know their stuff. <laughs> Which element did you use for the spatial alignment? Well... This one here. But, uh... Cylinder A should have been used as the reference primary. Did you calibrate the measuring sensor? Doesn't the early shift do that? We need around 80,000 pieces. That's about 200 per day. Oh, that's a lot. <clears throat> I mean, that's a lot like what we're used to. No problem. Hello, you've reached the technician's hotline. All our lines are busy. Please hold the line. At this rate, we won't manage more than ten a day. Optimist, huh? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, hello. I've got a question or two. What I'd be interested to know is... Uh, by which standard are your measurement technicians actually trained? Our standard? Um, we, uh, We use the, uh... We use the degustation industry standard. A multi-level training process. It's ideal for quality assurance. Ah, that's interesting. Never heard of it. Uh, yes, we are very innovative. <laughs> Damn it. That reference business, I still don't understand it. Well, I can't explain it to you over the phone. It's too complex. Haven't you had any training? Damn it. Target. Actual. Reading these results has got me very mad, okay? 30% outside of the tolerance? Well, at least 70% are right. You've got to be kidding me, huh? What did you expect? With a five-day crash course, we're not going to get far. Super. I'm pleased that we are moving on. I'm sure you've already successfully measured the samples. Yes. Yes, of course. So we're in business then? Chaque chose in son temps. Or as you would say, uh, all in good time. Why don't you organize in six weeks a demonstration 
in your measuring room with our sample parts. It's about time. Time for outcome. Modern technology demands precision. In the year 1610, Galileo Galilei once said, measure all that can be measured and make measurable all that cannot be measured. A demand that in our time can only be achieved with uncompromising quality management. Precision is vital to make aircraft safer, cars more innovative and energy saving, plastic and metal parts tougher and ecologically friendlier to develop. Without precision, the development, serial production and the quality demanded from highly modern technology would be unthinkable. Measure all that can be measured. So does Albert Einstein's maxim apply that one can calculate incorrectly and still arrive at the right answer? Precision demands knowledge. 3D measurement technology requires extensive knowledge in order to meet the high standards required of it. Measurement results are complex and build up on each other. They can be unclear, confusing, varying, and may be wrongly interpreted. Alcom strives to create a sound and comparable level of measurement technology training. The equipment neutral training ensures that measurement results are safe, comparable and reproducible. Employees in the area of 3D measurement need a thorough process of continuing education. The flexible, multi-level outcome courses provide them with complex, deeper learning, improving their measurement competence. To increase your competitiveness, you must develop an efficient strategy. The outcome strategy strengthens trust in your company and its performance. Choose outcome as the foundation of your quality assurance. Bonjour. I was very pleasantly surprised with your quality. The demonstration was extremely convincing. You have the contract, and I'm looking forward to working with you from now on. We've got the job. Fantastic. But without the Alcom training, we wouldn't have made it. <laughs> 